Brother Peter being set free. Just come with bad dreams and the prayers going on to the children. Hey! Maybe Jessica with hypertension. Oh, no, Jessica, no, no, no. The mother of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. This hypertension issue, it is that you got somebody to take care of you, like husband, and uh, he didn't do his work. You got a little bit discouraged. Where's your husband? So the provision is... Sometimes it doesn't have. It is My name is Simon Peter Omure from Kenya. I'm the sole breadwinner. I have a family, a big family that depends on me. Salary is not enough to sustain us throughout the month. That's the problem. This lady is not a joke. <laughs> One day you don't see me. You wake up when you don't see me. You take it for granted. It is true, men of God. Sometimes when you argue, I usually tell him I will go. I thought this is the lady. I don't want this polygamy issue. Because our family suffered it. Now, look at my kids. Yes, it is true, man of God. What you are saying is very true. And I indeed confirm because uh, when that thing has been happening, I've been thinking of moving out or rather having another wife. But and whenever I think about that, I think about my children and my family. I come from a very big family, a polygamous family. My brothers uh, have never had a stable marriage. They marry, their wives go, so I'm the only one having a stable uh, marriage. And so I've been just holding on and praying God that probably one day um, God will speak to my wife in my marriage. Mm. So it is the truth. So indeed. now let me pray for you to get a lot of money. Buy her vehicle. Those are the things she wants. These things of walking on foot, she never liked them. It is true, men of God. When I see women driving good cars, I admire and I say, God, bless me one day. I also want to drive a good car. And her goal, she wanted to work in a bank. These other issues and none of her, her issues. It is true, bed of God. We, we also started a microfinance, but it's Hello. You are the one who never divided to close. You never divided to close. Amen. It's it's true. True. It is true, man of God. In my heart, I was saying, even if it's failing, I will go to Uganda. I know men of God will speak to me. Don't worry, I'll give you $1,000 to put in your business. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> While I was in the prayer line, men of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, gave us a prophecy about a microfinance that we once had, but because of money issues, the microfinance fell off. My husband advised me so that we can close it down, but I did not have that idea of closing down because I believe that Jesus will manifest himself so that the business can reopen down. And I thank God because Prophet Samuel Kakande has, uh, has supported us with the $1,000 to reopen the microfinance. The message that I have to Kenyans and the whole wild world that here in Uganda, they're blessed with the Prophet Samuel Kakande. Jesus is working miracles in this ministry. 
and I welcome you all who are burdened. When you come here, Jesus is going to manifest himself through Prophet Samuel Kakande and everything will be okay in your life. My name is Simon Peter from Kenya. I'm the husband to Jessica Enane. I want to thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for his generosity. May God bless him and may God bless the Kakande ministry. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos and updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will receive notifications of our latest videos. Press your subscribe button and notification button today. Thank you.